Hello and welcome to our channel. We get to see a lot of papers which mention that they have used a mixed methods uh, research approach. And uh, what they do is they just do a quant and a qual and these are not talking to one another and go on to mention that we have merged everything, integrated everything. Now there is some clarity needed here and that's the content of today's video. Today we shall be talking about what is a monomethod approach, what is a multi-method approach and what is a mixed method approach. Now stay uh, uh, a bit like a patient because this is getting a bit confusing here. Mono method, yes, we all know. You do just quant and in quant also you use one particular design. Suppose you're doing a cross-sectional design or you're doing a uh, experiment, whatever. Or you use just qual and in qual you're using just deploying one method only. Say you're just doing IDI, so just doing observations. Those are mono method approaches. Many times what people do is they use any one of them, like they use just a quant approach or a qual approach, but in qual they do IDIs, they do observations, they do FGDs, or in quant they do uh, say just a survey, they may be using, uh, they may be going ahead to do a nested design or maybe an experiment later on. Uh, that's that's multi-method. So you have one research question and you are deploying different types of methods, but staying like true to the type of research that you're doing, maybe just a qual design or maybe just a quant design. That's a purely multi-method design. Now, uh, if uh, th there is still one more catch over here, the paradigm with which you are operating. In a multi-method uh, approach, suppose you're doing two quants, one quant survey followed by an experiment. The paradigm has to be same. So suppose you're starting with a constructivism approach, uh, constructivism paradigm, and later on you're shifting to a transformative in the second part of your uh, study. Then what you're doing is you are mixing paradigms, then that becomes a mixed methods approach. So what exactly is a mixed methods approach? Mixed methods approaches, you use qual and quant approaches, you integrate them at various levels so that you arrive at a conjoint interpretation. Uh, and uh, that could be with one uniform paradigm. So you're having just one common paradigm, say, para uh, say pragmatism. And within that paradigm, you are deploying qualitative and quantitative approaches and merging them, integrating them, going ahead to arrive at your own interpretations. Or you are, uh, changing the paradigms. Maybe you are just sticking true, uh, staying true to your uh, method. Maybe you're going just with quants, but you're changing the paradigm as you move ahead. Then that is a mixed methods approach. In mixed methods, we have different types of designs. One is a, a concurrent design. Some ca call it convergent parallel designs. The other one is a sequential design. So whenever you're deploying these kind of designs, plus you are using qualitative and quantitative methods, or you are using just quantitative method but changing the paradigms or qualitative methods or changing the paradigms, then it is a mixed methods approach. People usually do not declare their paradigms in quantitative uh, studies. Quantitative studies mostly operate within the realm of your post-positivist paradigms. Still, if you are uh, staying uh, true to your initial paradigm and using multiple methods, then it's a multi-method approach and not a mixed methods approach. This is still debatable. Researchers are trying to create their own position, trying, trying to create their own definitions of what is a mixed methods approach. But having some clarity as one moves ahead, goes deeper into mixed methods, uh, method, mixed methods, uh, understanding mixed methods to a deeper level, then this kind of a foundational understanding is important. I hope this clarifies. In the next video, we shall talk about uh, the purpose of mixing research methods.